today's video, we're going to show you how to install winglets on a 2020 to 2022 BMW S1000RR. I highly suggest that you watch the whole video before you start doing it, because there is some tips and tricks throughout the video, which will make it easier for you. So make sure you watch the whole thing, because obviously you do not want to screw up your OEM panels. Also, if you are not very good at this type of stuff, you may want to get two side aftermarket ones and try to do it on those first just to make sure. Yes, you will spend a little bit of money on them, but this way, at least you'll have some more experience on it and you won't mess up your OEM fairings. Another thing I would suggest before you even start doing this is just take your winglet, make sure that the hardware is out and just kind of put it up against the fender to see where it's going to kind of mount and how it's going to kind of look. Obviously with these, and I'm sure with a lot of them, they do come pretty close to the badge. So obviously if you don't get your holes right, it's gonna be covering your badge, which you do not want. So make sure you go check it out and put it up against there. So first thing first, take off both side panels and then you could head to the workbench. All right, so I just wanted to get a close up look on these things so I could show you guys how it looks and they look amazing. It does have the hardware included. This one actually has two on the bottom and two on the top, so a little bit re more uh, reinforcement, which is good, and our templates. So pretty pumped about these things. These things look super nice. Yeah, huh? look at these things. Incredible. Nice and light, too. They feel really good. They look like they are structurally sound and in great condition. Obviously, they're brand new, but... Hey, these things look great. Cool, these are gonna look really good on the bike. I'm pretty pumped about this. So these are actually from AliExpress. They are real carbon fiber. Yeah, so I'm really happy with these. The seller's name on AliExpress says MX Moto GP. That's MX M-O-T-O GP. I actually have their carbon fiber tire hugger and chain guard in one piece and that was a pretty good fit and it looks really good so blends right in with the other bmw carbon so really happy with it and i'm happy with these as well with how they came out so now that we got a closer look at them you can see they look awesome all hardware included with the templates all right so i'll show you the rear tire hugger that's it. It blends right in with the BMW stuff, so I'm good with it. It looks great. I'm sure the wings are going to look great on the bike. So I would suggest that you make sure that these plates actually bolt up. They're going to be a little bit tight, obviously, but you do want to make sure that the plates bolt up fine. And just be wary of which bolt is in which part on which winglet, because one bolt may be longer, one bolt may be shorter, depending on how they did it. So I would recommend doing one side at a time. Remember which bolt was in where to make sure that the plate will end up securing on here. And you can see it does have this little bit of a rise on here, which may be okay because I'm assuming these will bolt to the inside of the fairings and it should go up right against it. So we'll probably make it at a perfect spot. But we'll find out as we start digging into it. This should be where the badge part should be. This should be that cutout. And like I said, we checked out this one as well to make sure that, you know, just to make sure that the templates, if when you drill them, that the bolt holes are going to line up in it. That's very important. So obviously you want to check those out before you do it. And obviously if they don't fit, try swapping to the other side. And if it's still a problem even after doing both of those, then send them back because then they screwed up on something. But obviously these are important to check. So now I'm going to start taking off the fairing. I'll go look at how this may fit on the inside and we'll start taking it from there. All right, so we got our side panel. This thing has the cutout, so it will go something like this. So I'm gonna have to take off this bolt and kind of maneuver that out of the way. Probably gonna have to take the whole thing off to be honest with you, just so that I could get this in place and find a good spot. So we took this piece off. We did mount this up and kind of hold it in place. And I took this and I drew a line where that hole would be. And I kind of held it up to the back of here and kind of looked back and forth and I checked it a bunch of times. So it should be good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to push this plate down like so. And then I'm gonna put a dot in the middle with a Sharpie marker here and here and on those two as well, because those will be our holes. 
and I'm actually going to first drill this one a little bit and then I'll bolt it up and see how it fits and then I could always you know if I need to tilt this one up a hair or down a hair we could always do that and we could always get rid of some of this material if needed but this first hole on the left is going to be key so you're going to want to have to line it up you want to have to line it up like that and kind of find the middle of the holes on here and make sure that it's going to be to your liking so figure that out put the sharpie marker put the two dots do a very small hole smaller than the bolt and then you can work your way up to the bolt size obviously you don't want to go any thicker than the actual bolts themselves that come with it so all right i'm going to start doing that all right as you can see we got our markings on here on where to drill let me move this thing back this thing has to go back a little bit there we go now you can see them so those should line up pretty good and this is going to sit flush in the fairing when I push down on it and obviously when I tighten the bolts so you can see that's right in the middle. So I'm going to start drilling this first one up here. All right, so we got our first hole in. That was pretty nerve wracking for sure. I did go from the back and it's a lot smoother here and you can see that, I can get this to focus. You can see that it does go out a little bit so we'll probably clean that up not too big of a deal but i'm going to first attach the winglet to this one bolt just to kind of see how i think it's going to measure up and then we can kind of confirm if this bolt is good so uh, let me go do that uh, that's so nerve-wracking um the drill bit that i ended up using is a i believe it's a 3 16 let me double check on that and i'll get back to you in a second all right, so I did confirm it was a 3 16 drill bit that I ended up doing. I did go a smaller size, a size up, and then I ended up with 3 16 Obviously, you want to check your bolts for whatever type of wings you have because it may not be the same for this brand that I got. But this is basically how it's going to look for the most part. I kind of put a piece of tape here just to see where the bend was, to mark, you know, to really mark that off. And um, it should look pretty freaking good, so... I think I'm gonna be pretty happy with that. It should look good. I think this is gonna go up just a hair like that. Let's see, up a little bit. And then it should be pretty level with the uh, with the actual fairing. So we're just gonna do that top hole and then the bottom ones are just gonna kinda of end up where they are. Obviously I can't go down too much cause then the wing would kind of be pointing up looking a little weird. So we're gonna make sure that we do straight like that and this will probably end up somewhat like that. But it should look pretty good. I mean, there's no going back now so it kind of is what it is, but. All right, so I'm gonna do the other side, drill the top hole, get that all set and then I'll do the bottom ones last and I'll show you the finished product. Here's how it looks with the template on. I'll put this piece back on and that will cover these two bolts and I'll put it back on the bike. All right, so this is the throttle side installed. I wanted to do mine a little bit different. I know that these things are usually a little bit lower, but I actually kind of wanted the point basically going with this little line right here, as you can see. And we're gonna do that on the same side as well from a downward point. It looks really good. I really like how it is it's coming. It's flowing wet with that little uh, point on the fairing, so I like that. So this is how it looks. Looks really good, I like it. These are some pretty beefy winglets in my opinion. They look good. We got this side off. All right, so now I'm gonna go start on the other side. All right guys, so we are on the other side. We were at the bench and I accidentally screwed up on this thing. I did, you can see there's a little bit of a hole here. I don't know, I think I must have marked it wrong or something, I did something wrong. But I do know that the template is correct because it does bolt up when I put it to the actual winglet. But as you can see, we got this little bit of space here but that won't be seen because the back side of the, wing, the, winglet, the, back side of the winglet <laughs> is a little bit thick. So you cannot see that. Also, this hole was somehow when I put the template on, it did not line it up how I wanted it to. See how it's kind of underneath this thing? So I actually had to drill a little bit up to get it into place. Now, you may think I'm screwed, right? Not necessarily. As long as I get these bottom uh, ones perfect, 
and it holds it in place, then this will not move and I am all set to go. I'm not gonna worry about it and I'll be good. So I'm all set there. Like I said, just a little bit of up and down, maybe like a centimeter or two. I just went straight up just to get it where I wanted it to be. So this thing will not go left and right and this one will not move at all once we have these two ones dialed in. But it's gonna be very, very important for me to make sure that the bottom holes line up correctly the first time when I drill it and make sure that it's gonna obviously hold it in place and I'll be all set. So let me start doing that. But also in the process of me doing this, since I had it a certain way, you can see that this should sit flush and obviously I got to move these back a little bit but in order to do that I need to actually use a Dremel and take a little bit of this material away just a little bit not a lot and then obviously I'll realign my holes to make sure that because obviously this will fit on the winglet so once this gets in place and I take a little bit of material I'll redo my uh, marking holes and then I'll measure and I'll make sure let me go start doing this and then I'll show you the finished product all right, so we did end up taking a tiny bit of material away from here, just using a Dremel and this thing, and it cuts it very fast. So you have to be very gentle and careful. So this thing is gonna sit up kind of like this. It seems like that hole is in the place where it needs to be. I'm gonna make sure, obviously. And then that one, I will make a new marking because I actually used some goof off and I took the, uh, permanent marker mark off because it is, wouldn't be in this you know the correct spot but this looks pretty good like that if I need to trim a little bit off here I will to get it more to fit more flat I think I may actually do that I want to see because it looks like this part because you can see where this part starts going flat it's a little bit over here now so I may even have to trim a little bit of this now just because of I altered it now it should come out good once I get it all set, I mean, yeah, it's kind of flat and goes up a little bit. I don't want this part to break, so I think I am going to trim a little bit of excess off here just so that it sits nice and flat. And then we will take it from there. So I'm going to start doing this. All right, guys, as you can see, we got our bottom hole in. Now, since that bolt hole was dead on and I got it, this thing will not move up and down, even though I have these extra spaces here and a little bit there which is awesome i'm so happy about that because now it's not going to move i am going to have to alter this plate a little bit towards the top i believe because if that's there it's going to look good. well i'll check it out or i may have to alter it a little bit here take a little bit of material off now i'm going to actually get the fourth hole done measure it out just to make sure it's correct and then we'll put this back on the bike and we'll show you both sides pretty pumped that i got this thing to work now so if you do mess up on these top holes like I did. I don't know how I did. I was kind of rushing when I did it. I don't know what that happened, but anyway, so since I did have a little bit of a mess up here and here, I got it to where I needed it to be, and that bottom bolt is key. This one has to be right because now it holds it in place from moving down or up more, which is which is good. So this will be all set, and same with this other one that we're gonna do right here. All right, so I did file this down a bit. I used this bench grinder and just very slightly took away some material. And you could see that when I pulled it like this, and this is how it will sit in the fairing, that it lines up with the bolts pretty much perfect. That one, and I made my new hole or marker point to get the hole drilled. So let me go drill this last thing. Before I do it, I'm going to measure in between there and there just to make sure that it is the correct length. I'm going to take the winglet off and actually measure between each hole just to make sure that this is right because obviously these holes are a little bit bigger than the actual bolt holes. So let me go do that now and we'll get this last hole drilled out. So we have our four bolt holes all set. Everything screws in good. The winglet is actually nice and tight now since we got that first one down over here all set and same with this one. So there's like no play, I got those dead on. I would highly suggest that you use um, you know, something like this, a micrometer or something like that just to measure the holes between here and here and here and here to make sure it's correct. Like I said, somehow I just must have put the dot in the wrong place and I was off just enough. And same with this thing going up. Like I said, I was 
kind of hard to see, but there's that little bit of a hole you can see now, but everything is nice and tight now, so we're good there. I'm going to get my plate, put this on here, and I'm going to get some blue Loctite and put it in there. Now, definitely do the blue Loctite the last thing because you want to make sure that you mount this up to the bike and everything is where you want it to be so you, after that you're not going to really make any adjustments so pretty happy with this let me go get some loctite put this thing back on and i'll show you when it's all bolted down all right so here is the backing plate it does seem to bend a little bit after you get these bolts down so what i did was i kind of just got them caught in the threads and then i squeezed the blue thread locker in between on all the sides same with each bolt and then i just tighten them down so we are all set to go here we're going to put this piece back on here and then we could start mounting to the bike and i'll show you the finished product i am definitely relieved that it came out good because i already test fitted onto the bike real quick just to make sure and everything looks good so let me throw this piece back on all right so there she is as you can see the wings look awesome on here they look really good very happy with them they came out good i didn't tighten up the bolts yet but i just got everything into place so you can guide, kind of get an idea but like i said the whole point was to get basically the middle of the thang to this line and same thing with this one this part is actually a little bit thicker it looks like than this one right here but not a big deal it still looks really good in my opinion and i'm very happy with it so i am pumped All this nice stuff on the bike, you gotta love it. So overall, very happy with this. You do have to take your time while doing this. I spent hours on one side and it's worth it because obviously you wanna get everything as perfect as possible. And the end result will look like this when you do. So very happy with it. From here to here, there is about that much space and there to there, it's just about the same for the most part, which is good. So very happy with that and how it came out, good stuff. So I'm gonna go over some tips and tricks for this stuff. So some tips and tricks that I would suggest is definitely get something to measure the holes from each side from one to the other. Usually I did, you could do from the middle to the middle. It's definitely important, you wanna take your time. I spent hours doing one side and it was worth it because it came out perfect. If you do need to, you know, ream down the, um, the template like I did, it was, mine was just off a little bit from where I wanted it to be. But honestly, if I probably put the template in the same place on both sides, then it still would have been equal. But obviously, it's always good to check. Make sure that, you know, you end up using your bolts, you screw it in, you do that top hole first, and then you kind of do the other one and you get it where it needs to be. I did use some tape and something like this, so I knew exactly where the hole would be on the winglet. Because sometimes it's kind of hard to tell when you're looking on the back side of the fairing and the actual hole in the winglet it's sometimes hard to figure it out so i used something like this and i just did the line and i knew exactly that's where the hole was definitely go up in the uh drill bits start small and then work your way big obviously you want the hole not to be too big where the bolts all moving around you want it as tight as possible so that's why i suggest you start very small and then just move your way up till you can just barely almost thread the bolt into the uh fairing but yeah definitely take your time if you need to use a dremel like i did to uh shimmy out that plate a little bit or that template to get it where i need to be you can do that I did use the bench grinder at some point just to get off that excess amount that I needed and that worked fine. Or you could do this, but obviously the bench grinder for a long straight line was a lot more easier to use. But yeah, measure, measure, and keep measuring it again and measure another time when you think you're done measuring just to make sure. Because especially if you're doing OEM fairings, you don't want to screw them up. They are expensive. I do suggest they use some aftermarket ones and you can get OEM copies and the quality is really good nowadays. So as long as it's that ZXMT brand, you're fine. But like I said, if you're not too good with that type of work, and this was my first time doing it. And like I said, I screwed up a little bit because I rushed a little bit on one part, which I, you know, I wish I didn't do that, but you know, it is what it is, but it ended up working out. I was able to save it, but like I said, take your time and measure everything like 10 times and like i said you can only you cannot put material back you can only take it away so another thing that you could do is make sure you get a sharpie marker and when you have your template 
you put a dot in the middle of where the hole is supposed to be, that way you'll know where it is and it's easier to drill out. Also, you could just get you know something to take it off if needed. I did use a little light to make sure that when I was pulling it down that I could actually see where the bolt hole was and obviously the tighter the better. So that's just something else you can do to it. With that being said, I'm really happy with the end result. So let's go get this thing out in the sun and we can go take a look at it.